Now, getting the data for calculating your greenhouse gas inventory, this is the most difficult part. And I'm not going to, you know, blow smoke here. Everyone thinks it's going to be easy. It's more difficult than it seems. There's going to be about 80% of the data that's going to be there. That last 20% is going to take a long time to get. If you think it's going to take you six weeks, assume it's going to take three months because there's always going to be data that's going to be harder to get than you think. And I'm going to walk you through the different tiers of data and ways to get your data. Now, the tiers of data, you have primary and secondary. Primary data is data that you pull directly from bills. So if it's energy, you're pulling it directly from utility bills or paper, you're pulling from a, a vendor invoice or from your office manager. And it'll show the quantity of being used, you know, whether it's kilowatts, therms, you know, if it's paper, it's reams or sheets, or maybe if it's business travel, miles. You can see that in there. And of course, you can also get the costs of that too. Secondary data is where you don't get the, the primary data, you don't get the raw data, but maybe you get the financial data. You might get, um, you know, not the utility kilowatt hours, but you might get the dollars that are spent. Or you might not know the exact reams of paper purchase, but you might know how the dollars are spent. And you have to back it out. So you might have to take the, the total dollar figure, and let's use the paper example, and say, okay, we bought, a, you know, bought, you know, a thousand dollars worth of paper, but we bought, you know, 10 boxes of paper, each box has 10 reams of 500 sheets, and you back it out that way. And there's other secondary sources you can use. If you can't, you know, if you don't have the financial data, sometimes you can use industry averages. Um, if you lease a facility, it's probably wrapped up in your triple net lease, and you're gonna have to make some estimation based on your square footage. Or you might have to use proxy data, where if you've got you know, multiple facilities, let's say, around the country, and you've got one facility that has primary data, and another facility has no data, but it's roughly the same size and equivalent in usage and number of employees, then you can use as a proxy.